Hi, my name is Logan Hubler, and this is the interactive advanced concept presentation number two, the clock reaction. For this experiment, I used four materials. The materials I used were cornstarch, 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide, vitamin C tablets. I was unfortunately only able to find the chewable tablets and they were 500 milligrams, so I had to use four of them. And then I used 2% iodine. So I had to use 60 milliliters, which was two of these little bottles. And I also used my measuring cup in milliliters to help me get precise measurements. So for solution A, I added, this is my solution A. It unfortunately did not work as planned. It was supposed to be colorless. I added 60 milliliters of the 2% iodine, which was two of these, as I said, four or 500 milligrams of vitamin C tablets, and then 60 milliliters of distilled water. And it was actually supposed to be colorless, as I said, not this Coke color. Um, I don't think maybe I didn't have enough vitamin C or since it was chewable and that was the only thing I could find. There's more additives in it, which is why it didn't like dissolve as much as it should have. And then solution B, I added about, here's my solution B. It's a little cloudier than it is supposed to be, but it's pretty close to what it was supposed to look like. Solution B, I added about 0.4 grams of cornstarch. And then I also added 150 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide. And I also added distilled water. And after doing that, it was still, it was a lot cloudier than this. So I heated it up into the microwave until it boiled. So then I could filter it out. And unfortunately, it's still a little cloudier, as I said, but it's a lot clearer than it was initially. And then when I was done making solutions A and B, I added an equal amount of solution A and an equal amount of solution B into this glass. And it was actually supposed to be a bluish black color, not this Coke color because two reactions are occurring at the same time. But as I said, my initial reaction for A did not work as planned. It was supposed to be colorless. So that's why the two colorless solutions were supposed to make the bluish blackish color. But unfortunately, experimental errors happen. So I'm gonna explain what was happening and why it's a clock reaction. So as I said, there are actually two reactions occurring at the same time. The reaction iodine ions react with hydrogen peroxide to produce iodine element which is blue in the presence of cornstarch. But before that can actually happen, vitamin C quickly reacts and consumes the element iodine. The net result is for the solution to remain colorless with excess of iodine ions being present. The vitamin C gradually gets used up and the solution turns blue. As I said, this was supposed to turn blue. Uh, the solution turns blue because now the iodine element and cornstarch are present. So it turns blue because the iodine element and the cornstarch are present at the same time, causing the bluish blackish color to be present. But as I said, my solution A did not work as it was planned. It was supposed to be uh, clear, not this brownish, cokish color, which is why my reactions for A and B mixture did not turn out as planned either. And the reaction is referred to as a chemical clock. Now a chemical clock is a reaction in which the concentration of one of the chemical components undergoes an abrupt change in concentration after a certain time period and leads to a sudden color change. In this experiment, the molecular iodine undergoes the sudden concentration change. When the iodine concentration increases, it reacts with the cornstarch to form a complex, turning it to a deep bluish blackish color. As I said, this was supposed to be the deep bluish black color forming the complex, undergoing the abrupt color change, but Unfortunately, that did not happen. And this is called a clock reaction because the amount of time that elapses before the solution turns blue depends on the starting concentration of the starting chemicals. Now, as I said, I did have experimental errors. Uh, my solution A was supposed to be colorless, but I could only find the chewable vitamin C tablets, which explains why maybe it did not work as planned. Uh, my solution B with the cornstarch and the hydrogen peroxide and distilled water was supposed to be a lot less cloudy than this, but it was supposed to be clear, so I got it to be clear as it was supposed to be. And my mixture for A and B was supposed to be the deepish, the deep bluish black color, but unfortunately that did not work. 
as I as a result because my solution A did not turn out either. So that is why it is called a clock reaction and those are the tools I used in my experiment. Thank you.